In this video, I'm going to make the Hungry Man Roasted Carved White Meat Turkey. Now, this is the Hungry Man meal I remember the most from when I was younger. Unlike the beer batter chicken that I did recently, this one is a full pound, 16 ounces of food, whereas the beer batter chicken, I believe, was uh, 14 and a half ounces. Now, what I remember is they used to have a uh, something here on, on the on the label on the outside that said a full pound of food. I don't see that anymore Also, unlike the beer battered chicken, which was 770 calories. This is only 380 calories Additional nutritional facts about one serving is that it has 9 grams of fat 35 milligrams of cholesterol 1450 milligrams of sodium These these things might not fatten me up, but they'll definitely give me high blood pressure and it has 16 grams of protein. Now this one has conventional oven directions and microwave oven directions just like before. And I'll be following those. I'll be making this in a microwave. I'm gonna see if I can make this a little bit faster than the previous one. All right, let me open up the side of the package here and slide the meal out. So the tray is divided into three parts, about three quarters, two thirds of it looks like potatoes, gravy and stuffing. And uh, the turkey, it's slices of white turkey meat. And then on the right hand side in one corner are the mixed vegetables. This, these are cut green beans, carrot slices and corn. And then a very small portion up here in the top right hand corner is the apple dessert. Now the instructions say to slit the part of the tray with the turkey. So I'm gonna take a steak knife here and just cut a slit in it. And then it says to remove the film from the dessert portion. So since that's in one corner, I can just peel back this upper right-hand corner, just peel it back some. Now it says to microwave on high for five minutes. And while it's in the microwave, I think I'll get started on my beverage. Again, I'm going with a Coors Banquet. Okay. It's about a minute and 48 left. I could smell the turkey and the gravy. When I took it out, I could smell the apple. It's it's hot on the right side and kind of cold on the left bottom. So it says to stir the gravy and rearrange the turkey. So I'm gonna use a disposable plastic fork. Stir, stir the stuffing and potatoes that are in the gravy and rearrange the turkey. Uh, yeah, the turkey is sort of falling apart here, so rearrange it. The stuffing hasn't completely reconstituted. And the consistency of the potatoes is... Eh, I don't know about these. All right. Now that it's stirred and rearranged, it says to recover and cook for another three and a half minutes to four minutes. So I'll go ahead and just cook it a full four minutes. And while I wait, I'll enjoy my course banquet. This is hot. I mean, it's really hot. The, the tray wants to kind of fold in on itself. 
I'll go ahead and remove the cover. I'm not gonna need that anymore. Whew, that is hot. Steam coming off of it. Now, unlike the last time, I'm actually gonna use a temperature probe because it says on the directions to make sure that it's 165 degrees. So I'm gonna put the temperature probe in the mashed potatoes and see if it goes up to 165 degrees. Needles moving. It's already past 175. It's holding at about 182 degrees. So I'm going to give this more than a minute to cool because that's what the directions say. I'm going to give this maybe five or six minutes. I'll go ahead and put the fork in it and just come back to it. So I ended up letting this set for about eight minutes. I had something to do and the temperature is down to 110 degrees. So now I can try this out. So we'll start with the main course, the turkey, the roasted carved white meat turkey. I'll just cut through it with a fork. Now this was sort of falling apart when it was frozen and I had to move it around. I've got a little gravy on it. Let's see how it is. It's actually pretty good. Let's uh, try some of the stuffing that's trapped here in the, in the gravy. Oh, help. Let's just get it with some mashed potatoes too. Okay, the stuffing is chewy. Kind of like um, dumplings from chicken and dumplings. It's not bad. The gravy is, is salty, but it's not overly salty. It's not too bad. Try some of the potatoes here. A little bit of uh, a little bit of gravy on there. Yeah, there's there was a piece of chewy stuffing in there. Potatoes aren't bad. I didn't think that they would turn out too good because of the way they were when I tried to stir them up, but they're not too bad. Let's go with the uh, vegetables. Got a couple carrots here. A little bit sweet. That's good. And some cut green beans. They're crunchy, a little bit, a little bit sweet, a little bit salty. And now let's see if I can get some uh, some corn on here. Tastes like canned corn, not bad. Now for the apple dessert. Now when I was a kid, I didn't like apple pie. I just didn't. Um, as I've gotten older, my taste buds have changed and things like uh, apple jelly, apple pie, apple fritters, things like that, aren't that bad. It's not my first choice. You know, if there's an apple pie or cherry pie option, I'm gonna go with the cherry pie. But because my taste buds have changed, I might actually like this apple dessert. So let's try it. It's more or less kind of like apple pie, the apple pie filling. So it's kind of like a caramel or something here, just this um, sweet sauce on top of chunks of cooked apple. I can smell the cinnamon. Yeah, it's just apple pie filling. The cinnamon isn't too strong. It's not too sweet or too tart. That's one thing about apple pies. If they got too much cinnamon, they're just no good. That's not bad. So the Hungry Man roasted carved white meat turkey wasn't bad at all. The stuffing was a little bit chewy, but overall it wasn't too bad. It was easy to make. The directions were similar to the beer battered chicken. It didn't take long to make. And the only dirty dish that it really created was the steak knife that I used to open up the meal to slit the plastic. Maybe I could have used a, a plastic knife. I'm not sure, but that's really about it. Unless you want to count the temperature probe, which I didn't have to use, but I just decided to use for the 
for the purposes of the video. Otherwise, uh, the calories on this aren't really too high, so maybe I might want to have something with this or maybe cut up some fresh vegetables on the side to kind of stay healthy. The sodium is high, but overall, it's not really too bad. It didn't really seem like when I was cooking it that it was going to hold together, but once it was cooked, it was fairly solid. And I even like the apple dessert after all this time. So if you're looking for a hungry man meal that maybe isn't too high in calories, or you know maybe uh, you're, you're kind of uh, more of a white meat kind of person or something like that, you wanna have gravy with your potatoes, unlike the beer battered chicken, which didn't have gravy, try out the roasted carved white meat turkey. It's not too bad. Thanks for watching.